What actor or actress ruins a movie for you? She doesn't ruin, but I audibly groan whenever she shows up. Gwyneth Paltrow Nobody mentioned Steven Seagal. I was watching The Handmaid's Tale a few months ago, and I have an habit of looking up info about actors and info related to the shows I like. That's how I found out that Elizabeth Moss is a Scientologist. The show is such a jarring story of dystopian future with deep cultish and misogynistic behavior. I am a cult survivor and having a person supporting a cult with a history of abusing women starring and producing that show is just so hypocritical. I just couldn't keep watching it, because looking at her made me sick. Ezra Miller John Wilkes Booth I just can't get past what he did. Elizabeth Moss The hypocrisy of her starring in The Handmaid's Tale and also being a practicing Scientologist is too much for me. Also, she looks just like an ex-girlfriend who dumped me. Those Scientology nutters. Jared Leto If I know he's in the movie I avoid it like the plague. Cara Delevingne, for whatever reason. There is something so, unserious about her acting. The Rock plays himself wherever he appears. Now it becomes a film about Rock. No one has said James Corden yet. James Corden. Any Scientologist. That cult creeps me out. Lena Dunham. Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne did a pretty good job in the first five minutes of Valerian. Anything with Jennifer Lopez. Anything with J. Lo in it is total garbage. Tyler Perry. If he doesn't get his non-acting non-directing behind off my screen. Amy Schumer. Beyonce Hollywood is determined to make her a leading lady but her acting is just awful. Shailene Woodley. I was in middle school when Secret Life of the American Teenager came out and her character, the lead, was so whiny and unlikable that it's ruined everything she's done since. James Corden. I know the UK probably won't take him back, but, pretty please. Gwyneth Paltrow. Ruby Rose makes me want to shoot myself. She was in John Wick 2 and I hated it. Bella Thorne. Tyler Perry. Russell Brand, he doesn't act, he just plays himself, and I don't find him very funny interesting. Pete Davidson. I know he's only been in a few movies but no thanks. Jennifer Lopez. I refuse to watch a movie she's in. Joey King. I have nothing against her, and I feel bad, but it's her mouth. Pretty much any Scientology controlled actor or actress. Amy Schumer. Kevin Hart, he annoys the hairs on my back, the few I've got. Amy Schumer. I never really found her funny to begin with. But after that Tampax commercial where she shoves that tampon in her mouth, I cannot stand her. I avoid anything she's in at all costs. Dwayne Johnson, I think he's a nice guy and all but all he does is play the same character over and over again. If there's a movie staring him I know 90 of the script without even looking at any media surrounding the movie. Just gets boring really fast. Jennifer Lopez. That puts Marky Mark. Kevin Spacey. I can't see him anymore without being grossed out. I think he's a great actor, but I'll never be able to look at him without immediately seeing a sexual predator. Kevin Sorbo. Steven Seagal. I was sort of a fan when he broke onto the scene. It was the same movie every time, but his fight scenes were pretty okay but I always got the feeling that something was missing. I never bought his love scenes, so I put him on the back burner. Years later I found out that he liked to beat up his stunt people, was a rude mother dollar, and had a severe cocaine habit. 
I can't even watch his old stuff without seeing the fakeness and drug use. If he ever did an honest movie, I will never see it because I actively avoid his work. Andy Dick Jada Pinkett Smith She'd give a hard fight with Amber Heard with given chances. Emma Roberts really really grinds my gears ha ha. Pete Davidson Ask everyone who groaned in my theatre when he showed up in Fast X. J. Courtney and Beyonce Ruby Rose in anything Jennifer Lopez she can't act or sing Amy Schumer Jenny McCarthy She was big in the anti-vax community because her son has ASD. She has blood on her hands. Pretty much all the teens in Netflix shows, they act so barred. Tina Aquafina. Edit my bad, she's just called Aquafina. As the reply to my post implies, I did get her name mixed up with the dolphin from Bojack. Jlo. Woody Allen, Dirty Little Nonce. Mindy Kaling. I loved Chris's Pratt in Parks and Rec, haven't liked him in anything else. Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies. The world movies were never very good to begin with, but I could have at least had a fun time with them if he wasn't in them. The Rock has a completely soulless feel in terms of the roles he picks his cast in, and he genuinely has zero range. Even if he's supposed to be playing a role that is somewhat grounded, he just looks like a cartoon character inserted into it. Everything surrounding him could be perfect, but if he's on screen I know it would take me out of whatever movie he's in. Jared Leto Catherine Hagel I just don't think she is a good actress. I literally had to stop watching Suits because she is such a disaster of an actress. Her indignant is the same as basically everything else. Just, no. Mark Wahlberg Ezra Miller has ruined The Flash for me. Based on the trailers it looks sickeningly good, but I can't support the fact Hollywood is going forward with him as The Flash for who knows how long. Ezra Miller, Aquafina Kaylee Kuoko I just don't like her. Amy Schumer I hate her voice her face she's so annoying. Jennifer Lopez. Everything is just so cringe IDK. Jennifer actress all around. The Rock and Kevin Hart. She's an amazing actor, but horrible and rude in person and every time I watch a show or movie with her in it I can't stop thinking about her real personality. I know lots of people are going to disagree but honestly it's the truth. X200B. Millie Bobby fucking Brown. Larry the Cable Guy. I hate his voice so much. Aquafina and her chain smoker voice. The fact they gave her a song in The Little Mermaid is fucking hilarious though. John Travolta post 2000. As soon as I see him I know him in for a mediocre performance at best. Gal Gadot, so stiff. Adam Driver. I don't know why but I really don't like him in movies. I don't understand why people think he is so good. Tiffany Haddish. I was so happy when she was apparently cancelled, but that didn't last long. Rebel.